attempting to recreate this dress. Period. Hey y'all and welcome to my page or back to my page. I'm Nods and I do trendy DIYs or really whatever I feel like doing. And today is my birthday. You the birthday bitch. Big 18. <laughs> so i'm sorry i've been gone i literally um have been so busy with i play d1 basketball <laughs> yeah, anyways so today we are going to be making this dress a dress like this kind of is inspired by this i couldn't completely do it like that because i didn't have the materials for it i made this literally in my dorm room hand sewn so this means anyone can do it with any anything because literally i made it from a graphic t-shirt that i had and some needle and thread because and some scissors of course so yeah this is making a dress dorm room you have nothing no way of getting any extra materials addition <laughs> let's get into it but wait if you don't follow me on social media you should tuck if you don't follow me on social media, you should definitely check out my social media. Um, my Instagram is at the Nadia Howard. That's also my Depop. Check those out. But now we can get into it. Yay! Okie dokie, art a mother flipping chokey. So this is our graphic t-shirt here that we had. I got it from the thrift store a while back. Okay, Ben had it. It's pretty big on me. I want to say it's huge, but it's big enough to be turned into a dress. So yeah, boom. I took a dress that already fit me well. This is not the shape I wanted, so I put a bra of the shape that I wanted to trace. And I'm just tracing the outline of both of these objects together to get um, the measurements. And of course, I'm leaving mad seam allowance, okay? Um, because that's what real seamstresses do. Um, and you want to make sure the stretch of your graphic t-shirt is similar to the stretch of the fabric that you are using for your measurements. Otherwise you're gonna need more space on the graphic tee. You're gonna leave more space because it's not gonna stretch as much as the dress that you're using, you feel me? Okay, so voila, I got my little cutout, it's nice or whatever. And I'm cutting out the neckline of the graphic t-shirt because I didn't need that for my dress, so I cut it off. Then I took the back flap and I cut straight across because it's gonna be straight in the back, you feel me? Like lower in the back than it is in the front. And yeah, oh, I forgot to mention to make sure that your dress is flipped inside out before you start sewing please do that inside out with the inside facing outwards duh and here is my beautiful sewing machine that i couldn't use because i forgot to bring the freaking pedal where's the pedal bro it's at home okay so i couldn't use my sewing machine so i had to revert back to hand sewing my old ways um because when i tried to use my sewing machine i'd have to twist the knob and that was taking way too much strength from my forearms so yeah back to hand sewing yay so i sewed up the side leaving a little bit of space using the in out in out in out method and yeah that worked for me so i recommend it here it is with the sides sewn up um as you can see, I can put it on. It is tight. I did have to squeeze into it. Okay. Okay. So that's my fault. But whatever. You know, I got that big old badonka donk back there. That's why. That's why. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> I left two slits in the side for one fashion and two because so I have more room in the in the dress. Yeah, so boom, this is how the layout is looking now. Now we can do the top, um, fixing the top, making it look neater. And then, yeah, little small details. Let's get into it. Here we go, finishing the small details on the bottom. Then about to finish the small details on the top. Then about to do the strings. And then I'm about to shut up. Sorry, guys, I'm talking way too much. All right, bye. <laughs> I'm about to take the extra fabric and cut straight strips um i think i did two strips that's all i needed um yeah anyways cut them and then pull them so that they fold 
over just so they're neater or you can sew them but that's way too much work so yeah that's not what we're, we're, we're gonna do well we can't talk but anyways now you're gonna attach them just by sewing them on and then yeah it's really simple just a couple sews and it attaches i don't i don't know what to say but anyways this is how it looks one yes giving body yaddy yaddy yes girl okay bye Then I got some safety pins and attached them to the top and to random parts of the dress and I was done. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you want to. And yeah, bye to girls and to Oh gosh, no.